Welcome back to Sailing Joy. We wanted wind, we got it. Today's gonna be 20 to 30 knots of wind and we're gonna cross the Bay of Almeria uh, towards a place that doesn't have a very good name. It's called Playa del Muertos. And on today's videos, our skills will be put to test because the weather forecast only got worse. So don't forget to leave us some love in the form of a like, comment, and if you're not a subscriber, consider joining us on this adventure. And we are here in Almeri Mar in uh, Spain. We decided to stop here at this marina and wait for about three days because we have that wind that is called Levante that is going to be very strong coming in tomorrow. So, uh, so we're going to be waiting up for the winds to change for us to be able to uh, continue to sail towards Cartagena and then Balearic Island. It's good to be to stop a little bit. So. Uh, we're gonna be here uh, for the for this next three days doing some uh, boat maintenance and by the way as we go to Cartagena We decided instead of going directly from here, which would be about 20 hours We're gonna stop in two anchorages, you know during the way that we're gonna get to Cartagena and these seem to be pretty nice We uh, were planning to stop there so we can cut that 20 hours in uh, probably six seven hours a day sail See this here? What I'm doing is uh, I'm putting this, um, it's like a wax for uh, the, the stainless steel. This is totally needed because whenever the stainless steel is new, if you don't do this, it starts rusting after two or three months. So from my experience on the other boat, I decided to start like waxing with uh, this paste here. Uh, this paste stainless steel polish way before it gets rusted so it kind of saves me the uh, annoyment to get like a rust removal uh, to clean it so it, it, it's almost like it gives like a protective coat for the stainless steel so um, you know I, I'm, it takes a little bit of time and effort to do it but uh, it pays off because it doesn't rust so it's pretty good look dirty huh? black I enjoy it so it's no big deal. And today is day to sit still here and wait for the blow to pass. It's forecasted to hit about 30 knots here in the marina and outside possibly about 30 knots. Now we're getting about 25 to 26. Uh, what we have done is uh, we have uh, we have uh, tied up Joy as much as we could um, here to the dock. So it is windy, but still extremely comfortable for us here because we're not dancing around some, just like other boats that are around here. We wanted wind, we got it. Today's gonna be 20 to 30 knots of wind and we're gonna cross the Bay of uh, Almeria uh, towards a place that doesn't have a very good name. It's called Playa del Muertos. Uh, it's about 15 nautical miles from here. And it's gonna take us, you know, the way it's going right now, about seven knots, probably eight hours, nine hours. Let's see. So we're crossing our fingers that uh, the the ocean wave stays exactly like it is now. It's about 0.8 maximum one meter today. So it's not that uncomfortable, and we have some good wind, so we can sail between six and seven knots. So that's good. Whenever we have the opportunity to sail, we do sail. So today uh, we have about 20 knots of wind, but the apparent, because of the angle that we're going, is uh, uh, our angle is like all the way from, uh, from the back of the boat here. So we decided to put the Jenniker up, which is 140 meters, to go a little bit faster. Uh, the reason why we want to go faster is because uh, it is projected to come in a lot of wind. Uh, in the afternoon so this uh, extra two knots that we're going right now it's gonna take us uh, all the way 
uh, through this bay that we're crossing, which is uh, the Bay of Almeria, uh, all the way to Cabo da Gata. And as we get there and we turn um, uh, to the left on Cabo da Gata, the wind is gonna come down a little bit, so we're out of the danger zone. So we're, you know, we're we're pretty we're flying here. We're about eight, you know, we're sailing at eight knots, uh, nine and a half now. <laughs> and uh just uh on the watch out here constantly for the parent wind not to go too much uh up because that would be damaging our uh Jenniker. but it's a it's a good day of sail it's just a little bit more attention that we have to pay whenever we do sail like that i was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy And so let's go inside Joy and see how much noise uh, it does make whenever you're sailing at uh, nine or nine and a half knots. It's pretty stable uh, here inside. I'm gonna go over there and show it to you guys. can see it's pretty quiet I can tell a huge difference on the Lagoon 46 from the Lagoon 42 that uh, we had the 42 would really squeak a lot Here on the 46 you can hardly hear any noise coming from uh, the wood and the furniture and everything so it's a uh, it's pretty good in terms of noise The wind speed was now getting up to 35 knots and our autopilot stopped working properly as I had to correct the route constantly. I finally took the helm to try to maintain course. And yesterday arriving here in Garusha, which was our last option because of the wind, it was like about 35 knots. We didn't even uh, record anything because it's pretty bad. Uh, we decided to stay here because it was like too windy and it's risky and everything. And uh, our decision paid off. And today we were gonna go to Cartagena, but we woke up, we saw uh, the weather forecast and uh, it was a beautiful day, morning, no wind, very little, it was perfect to sail. And uh, we said, you know what let's stay here because in the afternoon it's supposed to arrive big winds again like 30 35 knots and no doubt we are here in the marina i'm gonna show you guys how things are here and uh we even had to put like additional lines so pardon my microphone it's gonna be very noisy now
So we doubled the lines here, not this one in the back, but look how it's shaking. You can have uh, an idea by this uh, monohull that we have here in the, in the back. It's like up and down, like uh, it's navigating. So not a lot of fun, especially if you are in one of those uh, with uh, whenever winds like this uh, hit. So it's pretty bad. It's about 30, 35 knots. So we take the opportunity to wash clothes and uh, relax a little bit. Pelo menos a roupa seca rápida, né? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Everything dries up very, very fast. glad you're not sailing, huh? Com certeza. Ele tá morrendo o coração lá agora. Então eu nunca mais quero entrar na Choi, vou vender a Choi. <risos> very early and uh, it's 5 40 in the morning more or less uh, we decided to leave very early today uh, to Cartagena uh, so we have about nine hours to go and uh, we want to get there before four o'clock because uh, the winds gonna be picking up at four o'clock there's gonna be a lot of wind gusts probably about 25 so we want to beat that to get into the marina so we decided to wake up early and uh, sail to Cartagena and it's almost eight o'clock here and um, the sunrise has not even started yet. It's, uh, we can see here in the horizon, uh, the sun is about to come up. It's a, it's a beautiful moment. by the sunrise and we even forgot to put our poles up because today is tuna day. trip uh, until we get here to Cartagena so we're gonna get into the port now go into the marina and uh, we're gonna spend a few days here because uh, we're gonna have another wind that is gonna be against us so we wanted to uh, to visit the city get to see Cartagena see how it is so uh, we decided to stop here also uh, it's gonna be good because there's a BNG dealer here in Cartagena that is gonna come and see us because we're having uh, a lot of issues with uh, VHF and the AIS uh, from BNG. So hopefully the authorized dealer is coming to the boat on Monday is, and is going to solve the problem. It looks like this is a problem that uh, many Lagoons uh, 46 are having right now. So um, I've spoken to maybe three or four guys and uh, they're all losing their uh, uh, their position on AIS. Nobody can see them in the ocean. So to me it's a safety issue. 
uh, and that needs to be resolved and needs to be addressed by BNG. And we're very, very glad that we didn't go today to Ibiza. And I went to put the VHF radio back over there in the cradle, and for some reason I pressed the distress button. Chegamos aqui nas Ilhas Baleares, acho que.